Uh-oh. Captain, rocks and rough waters ahead. Dashy, activate steering wheel. All clear, Captain. Thanks, Dashy. Should be smooth sailing ahead. Well, at least until we hit the Roaring Forties. The Roaring Forties? The Roaring Forties are a part of the ocean with very rough water and powerful waves. Ooh. Nothing to worry about, Peso. I've piloted the octopod safely through these waters many times before. How did you learn to pilot the octopod so well, Captain? Practice. Lots of practice. And lots of late nights spent reading this manual. <laughs> <laughs> How to Pilot the Octopod, 3rd edition, written by Captain Barnacles. It covers everything I've learned about piloting the octopod. In fact, Peso, it might be a good idea for you to give it a read. Me? But I'm a medic. Well, you never know when we might need a backup pilot. Ooh, all right, I'll read it. I'm not sure I'll understand any of it, but I'll try. Clean me, hearty. Huh? Well, now. This shell would make a fine addition to me collection. Who are you calling a shell? Uh, I'm a cold snail, see? Uh, nobody puts me in a collection, see? Sorry, little fella. I, I just... Uh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I feel... I feel kind of funny. Uh, What's going on out here? <gasps> My. Come in, Peso. There's something wrong with Quasi. Don't worry, Quasi. You're going to be all right. What could have caused this, Peso? I'm not sure. It's almost like he's been poisoned. But by what? It stung me. What stung you, Quasi? No, Quasi didn't sting me. I'm Quasi. Tunip was there when it happened, Cap. Tell him what you saw. He says it had a swirly shell about this big. Was this the creature? Jumping jellyfish. What is it, Shellington? It's a cone snail. No wonder Quasi is acting so strange. A cone snail sting is full of poison. And it must still be here, somewhere on the ship. We'd better find it before anyone else gets stung. Shellington, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay! Octonauts, there's a dangerous cone snail somewhere aboard the ship. We need to find it and release it back into the water. Cone snail, you say? Ah, yes. Little fellows that can sting you with tiny harpoons. And they have up to 20 harpoons ready to fire, each full of poison that can make you very sick. Captain, there's no medicine for a cone snail sting. Time and rest are the only cure. But why would it sting Quasi? It was probably just scared and trying to protect itself. We'll have to be very, very careful around it. Octonauts, let's split up and find that cone snail. <laughs> Nobody captures me, see? Octonauts, any sign of the cone snail? Not yet, Cap. Anyone else? Oh. <laughs> oh no! Inkling, Dashy, and Shellington have all been stung. Peso, I'm bringing three more patients to the sick bay. Hi, aye, aye, Captain. Oh. Tweak, the cone snail must be somewhere in the octo chutes. I need you to close them off. On it, Cap. I'll let you know as soon as. Oh. <gasps> Tweak, are you all right? Oh, my. Oh, me. Oh. Peso, you'd better prepare one more bed. 
How are you doing, Peso? This is a lot of patients to take care of at once. Don't worry, Captain. I'm a medic. Taking care of people is what I do. Luckily, I have some help. <laughs> hmm. He must be in the vents. Right. I'm going after him. <laughs> What's the big idea? Captain, you did it! Oh no, you were stung. Just rest easy, Captain. Everything will be... Oh dear. What's happening? Uh, ships entering the Roaring Forties. Very rough water. Need to get through. No, Captain. You're uh, too weak. Uh, uh, yes. Somebody has to pilot the ship. And that person is you, Peso. Me? <gasps> Peso, use the manual. You can do this. But, but, Captain... You've learned 317 ways to bandage an injured fin. You've performed crevectomies in the frozen Arctic. <gasps> Those are medic skills. And I've done those things lots of times. But there was a first time. We're all counting on you. I... I... I have to try. Tunip, keep an eye on my patience. <laughs> all right. Um, autopilot off. Activate steering wheel and turn on the octolift. It says don't steer, but I have to steer around the rock or we crash! Keep one hand on the wheel. Use the other to engage the rudder. You can do this, Peso. Huh? Engage? Rudder? Whoa! Maybe I can do this! Whoa! I can't do this! What do I do? Rocks and rough waters. It's not in here. What do I do? You do the one thing that isn't in the manual. Trust yourself. Trust myself? But I'm a medic. I don't pilot ships. I take care of people. Hold on. I am taking care of people. Everybody on board the Octopod is counting on me. I can do this! is only a few years old, but it's already full of life. Aye, this reef is busy, even if it's not very big. Hey, it's big enough. G who said that? I'm right here. Show yourself. Oh, here I am. I'm a frogfish. Name's Anton. Wow, you look so much like the reef. I didn't see you there, matey. That is the idea. I'm camouflaged, which means I blend in with what's around me. It keeps me safe from bigger fish who want to eat me, like those sharks. Sharks? Everybody hide. Hmm, <laughs> I thought I smelled food. Let's head to a bigger reef. What I mean? <laughs> you fooled them, matey! Fascinating! These other fish can't blend in like the frogfish, but the reef has lots of places for them to hide. This reef keeps us and all our friends safe. It is our home, sweet home. Oh, look out! <laughs> Sorry about that. We'll fix the pedals. Now the gump F steering isn't working right. Aye, and as soon as you fix the steering, something else will break. I know. This is the first gump I ever built. So I can't give up on her. Maybe if I pedal a little faster. Yep, that's good. Whoa! No, that's bad. Tweak, Macy. Are you all right? Yep. But now I gotta fix the steering, the 
pedal, the rudder, the top, the bottom. Ah, is there anything on the gup F that doesn't need fixing? The seats are still comfy. <laughs> Captain, the storm tracker shows that there's a hurricane on the way. Octopod to Quasi, Shellington and Tweak. There's a hurricane heading your way. And it's moving fast. Take cover in the guts. There's not enough time to return to the octopod. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll ride out the storm in the gup sea. Very good. Barnacles out. There's a hurricane about to hit, matey. Storm coming. Oh, everyone take cover. <laughs> And I'm not camouflaged. How will I hide from the sharks? We can't hide either. Hmm. I see what you mean. Captain, the coral reef's been destroyed, and these fishies need a new place to live. We have to do something. Agreed. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, the reef dwellers need our help. Their home was destroyed by the hurricane, and now they have no shelter or protection. Maybe we could move all the fish to another reef. There may not be enough time to move them before the second part of the hurricane hits. Second part? A hurricane starts with strong winds and waves that stir up the ocean. Then there's calm like it is now. But that's because we're in the quiet centre of the storm, known as the eye. After the eye passes, it's followed by winds and waves even stronger than the first ones. But the fishies will never survive that without a reef. Hmm. What if we build them a new reef? Ah, you're talking about making an artificial reef, Captain. Artificial reef? An artificial reef can be made out of anything. A sunken ship or even an old train carriage. Algae, sponges, coral and plants attach themselves to it. And that attracts fish who make it their home. But what could we use to make an artificial reef? Well, the truth is that the gub F isn't much of a gub anymore. <laughs> but I reckon it'd make a great artificial reef. Super, super! Great idea, Tweak, but we'll have to work fast. The first step, we should cover the Gup F with algae and coral, Captain. Using lots of sticky limpet glue. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Much better. <sighs> well, what do you think? Oh, it has plenty of places for me to blend in. And plenty of hiding places for the rest of us. I say, let's move in. Oh, oh hold on, everybody. Don't touch anything yet. The sticky limpet glue still needs time to dry. Captain, the second half of the storm is coming in quicker than we thought. And it's going to be big. Oh, but Cap, the glue hasn't hardened. Everything we've put on will get washed away. Oh no. If you get washed away. I'm scared. Oh no, it's a tragedy. This is a disaster. Don't worry, me hearties. 
We Octonauts always have a backup plan. Anybody got a backup plan? Ugh. It's a shame the artificial reef doesn't have a helmet like we do. Hmm. Maybe we can give it one. Hatch seal. Okay, Tweak, lower the tow line. Now take it away, Tweak. You got it, Cap. <laughs> Easy now. And down. Oh, 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 The dome will protect the reef cap, but if it takes a direct hit, I can't guarantee it'll hold. Just a little further up, and we can dig for the secret treasure of Whitebeard the Pirate. I wonder what Whitebeard's treasure could be. No one knows, Cap. But Whitebeard was a fearsome pirate. I've heard that he could throw one of his legendary flying snowballs from the Arctic all the way to the tropics. Calico Jack once told me that a snowball from Whitebeard landed right on the deck of his ship and it never melted. Remarkable. Here, Cap. This be the spot. Uh what was that? We hit something. Why, there it be! Whitebeard's treasure! Now all we need is the key for that lock. Let me just find the right one. Bluebeard's treasure, Redbeard's treasure, and ah, here it is. Oh, my paws are so cold I can barely feel them. Whoa, my key! Shiver me whiskers. Captain, a hungry sardine just gobbled up me key. That could make the sardine very sick. We've got to find her. Let's split up to cover more ground. Aye, Captain. Ah, found him. I'm fine, Captain, but I just took a whale of a ride. What was the meaning of those bubbles you were blowing at me? Well, I can't help it if you crashed into my bubble net. Humpback whales like me make bubble nets so that we can catch a lot of food at once. We're sorry to disturb you, but uh, we're chasing after a school of sardines. Maybe you saw which way they went. No, but I'll keep an eye out. If I see them, I'll send you a signal. That's how us humpback whales communicate. Just listen for this. Got it? Got it! Whoa, there's some krill! Yummy! Hey, gotta go! And the name's Mitch! That little sardine is going to get a big tummy ache if we don't find her soon. Hi, Captain! Octonauts to the HQ! <laughs> Sardine who swallowed Quasi's key. Oh no, that could make the sardines sick. I found a school of sardines in the area, Captain. Great work, Dashy. But how will we know which sardine has swallowed the key? Tweak? This x ray viewer should do the job. Tunip, let's show him. Hide that hammer behind your back. Suba, suba. Very good. We'll need more than one of these X-ray viewers to find a little key in a little sardine in a great big ocean. I'm on it, Cap. Peso, meet us out here in the Gup E. 
Once we find the right sardine, we'll need you to perform an emergency keyectomy. On my way, Captain. Quasi, Peso, activate X ray viewers. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. The sardines. Let's go. And now move in closer so we can look for Quasi's key. They're splitting off. You two follow that group, I'll follow the other. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Have to hurry, that sardine needs our help. Quasi, none of my sardines has the key, which means that one of yours does. Quasi and I are still chasing them, Captain. Quasi, are you? Quasi? Quasi to Captain Barnacles, do you read me? Peso, are you there? I've got to get me gut back in the water fast. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, there's that humpback whale. Ahoy, Mitch! Can you hear me? Oh, maybe if I send that signal. Oh, sounds like somebody needs help. Oh, you really do need to watch where you're going. Yeah, yeah, but right now, I need to get my cup off this iceberg. Okay, I'll tip the iceberg over for you. Look, too big for me to tip over by myself. Yeah. But it won't be too big for me and a couple of friends. I'll send out a signal. Yo, Mitch. Called. Hey guys, I need some help tipping over this iceberg. Let's do it. Always enjoy a little iceberg tipping. Hold on up there. Ready guys? One. A little more. Two. Sardines. We'll come along just in case you will run into any more trouble. This guy has a habit of crashing into stuff. No, now we've lost Quasi and the sardines. I'm right behind you, mateys. And I brought some friends. <laughs> nice to have you back. Captain, sardines, they're right under us. Everyone, follow me. And there's the sardine who swallowed me key. I see her too, but we need to keep her in one place so I can remove the key. Hey, Mitch, could you and your mates blow a humongous bubble net to keep the sardine from getting away? Of course. Come on, fellas, bubble net. <laughs> Mr. Lobster, let's take a look at that antenna. It's all right. This won't hurt. All done. Oh, thanks, Doc. Bye. Cheerio. Ah, my last patient of the day.
Peso, come in, Peso. Captain, is something wrong? There's no time to explain. Head down to the launch bay now. <laughs> What's going on, Tweak? I don't know, but the captain sounds real worried. Here he comes. Peso, I've got a lot of hurt patients back here. Hurry. them in here. Peso, we found them covered in rubbish. They need your help. Tweak, clear out your workshop. We'll need that space for an emergency room. You got it, Peso. Good work, Peso. Your quick action has saved these pelicans' lives. Aye, but what happened to them? I've never seen a bunch of birds so bent out of shape. Ah, twas awful out there. The lads never knew what hit them. What was it, matey? Were you attacked by some kind of rubbish monster? Not now, Quasi. These pelicans need to rest. No, it's all right. Tis a tale that needs to be told. Oh, Charlie's the name, and this here's me fishing crew. We'd flown out to sea for our first fishing trip in the morning. And we'd just spotted a big school of little fishes for our breakfast. All right, lads, I told them, prepare to plunge. That's how we pelicans go fishing, see? We dive in fast, then scoop the fish up in our pouches. But this time, we were tricked. Wasn't a school of fishes at all, but a big bunch of grimy sea junk. Luckily, Dashie and I happened to spot them as we were passing by in the guffs. I don't know what we would have done without your help. <laughs> but why was there so much junk in the water? When plastic gets thrown into the ocean, it sometimes drifts together in big floating patches of rubbish. The plastic can be very dangerous to sea creatures who might eat it by mistake. Aye, and the rubbish patch that fooled us is still out there somewhere. Then we'd better clean it up. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Already in the launch bay? Oh, uh, right. Octonauts, our mission is to clean up the rubbish patch that hurt these pelicans. Dashie, can you track it on the map? Already on it, Captain. That must be it. It's drifting over the octopod right now. Peso, you stay here and look after the pelicans. Everybody else, let's head to the surface. <laughs> Shiver me whiskers! Look at all that rubbish! With these nets, we'll have it cleaned up in no time. But, Captain, what do we do with the rubbish once we scoop it up? Don't worry about that, Dashie. We'll put the rubbish into this octobin. And then take it back to the octopod to recycle. <laughs> Octonauts, let's do this! <laughs> Octonauts, we're making good progress. I'd better see how things are going back at the octopod. Say, ah, uh, ah, uh, looks good. Peso, come in, Peso. How are your patients? Well, Captain, I'd say the pelicans are healing nicely. Excellent. Ooh. Peso, what's that noise? Hmm, looks like there's another patch of something heading your way. Hmm, more rubbish, maybe. Whatever it is, it's moving fast. Yeah. 
<laughs> Something's tickling me toes. <laughs> it's not more rubbish. Huh? It's a huge school of fish. Uh-oh. Whenever there's a school of fish this big, there's bound to be a, yeah! a feeding frenzy. <laughs> Attention, swordfish. There's rubbish in the water. It's not safe to eat here. <laughs> In that case, we'd better hurry. Whoa. Oh, we're surrounded. Captain, come in, Captain. What's going on up there? We're caught in the middle of a whoa feeding frenzy. It's making the cleanup a little tricky, and we. Captain, Captain. Oh no! I have to help them. Listen, Doc. We pelicans know a thing or two about feeding frenzies. The trick is to get in and out as fast as you can. But how? <laughs> what say ye, mateys? Ready to stretch your wings? Right. Ready! <laughs> They're coming from every direction! There's got to be a whoa, way out of here! Captain, jump on! Great timing, Peso! Octodes, let's move out! Don't look down! Don't look down! Thanks for the lift, Pelicans! Good to see you're feeling better! Now, why do you say we clean up the rest of this sea rubbish before someone gets hurt? Remember, mateys, in and out fast! Get ready, Octonauts! When the Pelicans dive in, try to scoop up as much rubbish as you can! Prepare to plunge! Everyone, hold on. Where's Peso? 